It's 2021 and the stench of conspiracy is in the air. It's time to wake up, sheeple, because this is Real Fake Facts. You are now tuning in to Real Fake Facts. Tonight, we focus on a conspiracy as old as time. The Illuminati. Not your mom and dad's Illuminati. Not your run-of-the-mill Illuminati. The real Illuminati. Libraries. Berlin. London. New York. Buenos Aires. Paris. Los Angeles. What do these cities all have in common? You need me to spell it out for you. L E. I-B-R-A-R-R-Y-S. That's right, libraries. In almost every major city in every country has a library. Have you ever wondered why? I've never gone to one. No one has. So, what are they really for? I went down to a library to try to get to the bottom of this global library conspiracy. And guess what? The first thing they did, they stomped all over my First Amendment rights. The librarian went, shh. And what are they hiding in the quietness, sheeple? So, I asked this librarian, what do libraries even have to offer? And you know what they told me? Information. So I asked a simple question, what's the largest state in the union? And he said, you can look that up in this book of U.S. state facts. He wanted me to read. Can you imagine a global institution of information in every major city, but they can't provide me the simple, quick answer provided to me by the great and noble purveyor of information, Google? So I asked myself, who are these librarians? CIA operatives, perhaps. Slaves of the global library elite trapped in some sort of sick, book-fueled squid game? Maybe. I turned once again to our trusted, reliable, noble, uncorrupted, moral, ethical friends at Google, and something funny happened. When I started typing in librarians, you know the first thing that came up? Sexy. And as I followed this lead down the click hole, I started to find literally thousands of videos of so-called sexy librarians. So, there is an entire propaganda machine distorting who these librarians are, and we need the truth. We have to get to the bottom of this conspiracy. So, joining us live via satellite is one of these so-called librarians. Welcome, sir. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I work um, full time as a librarian. I, I help to uh, create educational programs uh, for schools and, and for the elderly. Uh, I help people find uh, new books and new authors for them to fall in love with. And on a grander scale, I guess I try to help to inspire. You're not sexy. Are you willing to admit to that also here on the program? I I, I don't even quite know how to respond. Um, I don't feel like that's fair. Uh, But I guess what I can say is that beauty is obviously always subjective. And uh, so it is possible that to to, to some people, uh, maybe many people, I am not sexy. So, you're admitting that you are not sexy, and that the sexiness of librarians is a propaganda tool used by the global library elite, or as I like to call them, the true Illuminati. Follow-up question, why are you trying to silence our voices, sir? Concentrate on the books that they're 
No, 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 no. You're done. I will not have you pushing any more of your pro-library propaganda on this program, sir. Cut him off. Cut him off. He's done. Clearly, we have just started pulling the thread on this conspiracy, this global network of silence that we call the global library elite. And trust me, we will not stop hunting until we get to the real fake facts of the true Illuminati, as I like to call them, libraries. And if you have a tip to join the hunt, please email the show at who the fuck still uses email at this show is a joke anyways dot net and join the hunt for the real fake facts of libraries. <laughs>